Hey everybody, Anne here. I was outside doing chores and I kept my phone inside um, in the kitchen. Um, I came back and there was a text from my neighbor. The baby chicks are starting to hatch out. Um, I think it's like day 20, I think. Uh, so, um, I'm going to have some baby chicks today. While I'm waiting on the baby chicks to hatch, I decided to fry up a bunch of eggs and feed them to the chickens and Papa. So I modified this little can here. I pulled this can out almost all the way and I cut about this much off of this thing and I pulled it out to the edge of this can and it is working so much better. Once I get done cooking I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. They're definitely done. They absolutely are. So let me show you what it looks like. Ooh. Yeah, I might have to wait because it's like actively burning. I just added some fresh uh, wood to it. So um, once it dies down, you'll be able to see. But it is working much better. There is virtually no smoke. Um, that's just because this fire is way too hot. I need to push these in because I don't want them to be on fire outside of this. Um, and that's all the wood I'm going to add because I'm not cooking anything else. So, uh, when this dies down, yeah, I'll show you what I did. Oh, and this works better if I turn it upside down. Okay, it's died down. You see that? You see how I pulled that can all the way to the back? That's how it's supposed to be, not like halfway up in there. Um, there just wasn't enough oxygen, so really, you just push the can in till it's just inside here. And um, that way a nice bed of coals can develop. And it's very hot. It's still hot. It's been out for about, I don't know, five, five minutes or so. And then this also shorten it up. You don't need it to be super long. And then just feed basically twigs. So I plan to use this to do an awful lot of cooking this summer. It's been about 20 minutes and there's still heat coming out of this. I am so glad that I got this to work. I was a little worried because I had invested a lot of time in it, but with a few minor adjustments, it is now an awesome rocket stove. Neighbor fam just texted me. They said they're home and I get to go look at the baby chicks. Okay, so there's one little tiny baby Easter egger and then there's another Easter egg or hatching. There's another Easter egg or hatching. Um, the Easter eggers are all coming first. I'm hoping I get at least a couple of the white ones to hatch, but they're awful big eggs, so. There's a lot of the white ones that should hatch. I mean, like 90% of them should hatch. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, a baby Easter egg. Okay, so we don't have, I don't need to do nothing. I'm like an expectant mother. <laughs> I'm so excited. I cannot even freaking believe it. I get a baby Easter egg. I, I do, I do. I've got it all set up. Uh, you got three heat mats? Three heat Oh, I got a heat mat. All right. Cute baby. And my neighbors also got sheep. You got two? Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. I hear them going bad. It sounds like someone saying, Anne. I think it's your kids calling out for me. Oh, what'd you guys name them? Peter, Peter and Piper. Piper. Peter and Piper, a boy and a girl. Yeah. So they're going to be, there's going to be babies sometime. Yeah. Yeah. They're not kin. They're not kin. Oh, that is so exciting. They're the same breed of sheep, but they're... And you you got a great pen. I'm going to uh, fence all that in down there. This is yeah, just, where we let it grow. <laughs> Monk was yeah. started his chemo Monday, so yeah. I had to get him out of there. So these were his sheep, huh? Yeah. And so that you just raise them and people buy them? Yep. For their wool? Yep. Our meat. They're four dollars Meat now. and wool. Meat? These are, these are actually meat sheep. You're kidding me. Oh, my gosh. The Mexicans and Arabians, mm -hmm. they love them really, really well. I might want to start raising these eventually. How much would you sell like baby sheep for? Uh, I don't even know what. They're going for $4 a pound. Yeah, but I wouldn't charge you that. I will let you get one. Oh, as far as I know, only one baby chick has hatched out so far. I'm not going to keep pestering them. So uh, I think I'm just going to go forage some food for the bunnies for the third time today. 
Oh my gosh, this chicken mama, she was all the way over there across the street hunting and pecking on Mr. Uh, Lucas' yard. She comes hightailing it back as soon as she saw me. It's kind of like she knew she wasn't supposed to be over there. I've been trying to whittle away at this area over here because it's unruly, but there's so much poison ivy in there and stinging nettle, but I can still get a little bit more of it down. This I cut up this morning, so I'm going to try and get a little bit more that isn't poison ivy. I think that's enough for now. Yep, it's off to the bunny hutch. All right, bunnies, come on, you gotta move. Gotta move. Oh, no you don't. No, you don't get out. Sorry about that. Dinner time. What's up, pretty girl? Miss Roxy. You're, you're all by yourself. Where's your flock mates? You're such a pretty chicken. Here comes Patsy. And one of the Easter Eggers. This one, oh yeah. This is one of, oh look at her face. She was one of the ones that got her back feathers taken off by Torch and she still has not got them back because Romeo loves her. See that? She's getting them back though. They're slowly but surely coming back. There's Romeo and Splash. Hey, chick, 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 chick. Come on, chickies. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to fake them out. I'm going to go give them some, I don't know, some eggshells or something. Oh, look it. I don't know if you can see way up in the distance. There they come. Yee, chick, chick, chick. Come on, chickies. <laughs> Yee, chick, chick, chick. Come on, chickies. All right, I gotta get him some food. Okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, there's two of the Easter eggers that are going back back feathers. This one's doing a lot better. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're missing one Easter egger. Where is she at? There she is. Here, chick, chick, come on, chicken. Come on, girlfriend. Is that Mama? Yep, it's Mama. Good girl. Here you go. All right, I'll give you some oats here in a little bit to get you into the yard. It's been a good, relaxing day. A little bit warm, but not too terribly bad. Everything is ready for the baby chicks once they're ready to come out. Um, they're very smart about it because they're not going to keep opening up the lid every time a baby chick hatches to bring me the baby chick because the humidity drops and um, if, some, uh, if one of them is pipping, it, that could be very bad. I mean, they could die before they even leave the shell. So uh, they're just going to leave them in there. They're good for like 72 hours anyhow um, because they absorb the yolk and that will sustain them. So uh, I'm thinking tomorrow we're going to have some more. Um, uh, tomorrow was the day that they were supposed to start hatching. So, uh, we will see more tomorrow. Remember, there's 32 eggs in there, and quite a few of them are, um, the white eggs from a Leghorn, Leghorn Easter egg or mix. So, it's going to be interesting to see how many hatch out, how many make it. <sighs> I'm, I'm excited. I'm like... I'm like an expectant, not a mother, an expectant father, you know, just waiting. It's like you can't do anything. Anyhow, I'm rambling, so I'm going to fire up the rocket stove and cook something delicious. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.